Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the start of my Halloween DIYs. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know I say that in every video, but I am <laughs> genuinely, I actually mean it. Absolutely love this. And it is a pumpkin trio made from wood slices that were kindly given to me by Arteza to test out. Have to say, absolutely loved them. Shut up, Claire carry on actually i got a beautiful hobby knife set which i will be using but not in this video so this is a three knives and 13 blade set that they sent me it also has a cutting mat in there they sent me some self-adhesive vinyl this pack is huge basically 12 inches by 12 inches so bigger than a4 i'm going to be using these i'm so so excited and they've oh lovely so they come in a pack of 45. They look like this, absolutely gorgeous. And they've already pre-drilled, so if you wanted to make Christmas decorations or anything like that, perfect for that. And they come with some twine to hang them with. So I'm gonna open these up and this is what I'm gonna use for today's video. So I've just opened them up now and I'm just having a feel, having a look at them all. They all come in really, different sizes actually which is actually really handy i thought they were all one size and it kind of helps when you get bigger ones and smaller ones you know you can make your little snowman and things like that but you know this isn't christmas this is halloween so this is what they're going to look like when i've finally painted and placed them and stuck them together uh, guys if you could smell these oh have a whiff <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one. Well, I know I'm not the only one. There's plenty of woodworkers out there that love the smell of wood, but oh, these smell amazing. Anyway, first step is to paint them. I'm gonna paint a set in traditional orange, and then I'm gonna paint a set for my hallway, which will be white, silvers, kind of like muted tones. But yeah, the traditional and the white. So I'm gonna use acrylic paint. Of course, you can use any medium you want. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use the paints Arteza sent me for some previous projects. So I'm actually going to use a white here, we've got a white, we've got some oranges, we've got uh, orange, red, and then I've got some greys, well silvers and greys for the muted tones. But yeah, we're going to start with the traditional oranges. three pumpkins i'm not a fine artist i don't pretend to be but yeah i absolutely love them whilst they are drying i'll just switch over and we're gonna do this so fully inspired by my girl tony and lisa i learned this trick from them so we're gonna use some curly twine for the tops of the pumpkins so i have basically just dipped them in some glue and I've wrapped them around some pens to dry. So to get them off, you just wanna give them a wiggle and get them off, and they should have, <laughs> ideally, they should have dried into some really cute spirals, and this is what we're gonna hang off the top. If you're worried about the pens, please don't be. It will just peel off afterwards, and they'll be as good as new. So that is all the little curlies done. If you wanna skip all of this kind of messiness, you can buy wired twine. To put everything together, I actually bought this cute little box of artificial maple leaves. They come 100 pieces from Amazon. If I can find the link, I will put it below. I'm really bad at putting links down below, I know I am. But yeah, so the box has got just some stunning, stunning little leaves in here. I will be using these leaves, I will be using the curly, and I will be using some additional twine to decorate. In addition to that, I actually went and knocked at my next door neighbor's house because she had her garden cleared. And we have nothing in our garden, so I went and asked her if I could have some of the twigs that I saw kind of sitting there. She looked at me funny, but it was okay, she gave me some. Now, 
to assemble them, I'm going to be using all of these bits here. I might cut the leaves down because I feel like they're a little bit too big. But also to stand them up on my sideboard, I'm going to be using Jenga blocks. Now, I know a lot of you guys in America can get these from your Dollar Tree. And we can get them cheap here as well. But I'm using actual Jenga blocks purely because we're missing nine. And we have been missing nine for many years. And I thought, you know what? Let's just use them. So yeah, I'm going to be using these as a backdrop to help stand them up. I'm not going to talk all the way through the assembly of these. I'm just going to hold them up close so you can see them. I'm going to put the leaves on and then I'm going to add the stalk right at the end and the curlies. And hopefully it will turn out how it is in my head. <laughs> Let's go. my three cute 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 little pop <laughs> parsnips <laughs> oh dearie me i was gonna say parsnips guys it's late at night <laughs> that's my three pumpkins done so i'm actually gonna make them stand up now and stick them to this little jenga block right this is it this is my absolutely what I think is adorable little trio of pumpkins let me know what you guys think if you've been following me a while you know I can be a little bit indecisive and every now and again I like to kind of ask you what you would do I am thinking of putting some pumpkin faces on these so let me know what you think so this is what the back looks like they're all stuck together happily on that Jenga block of course I painted the front so that if you can see it underneath it looks orange and it's okay but yeah let me know what you think i absolutely love this it's probably it's just like miniature you know that little miniature love thing going on but yeah let me know what you guys think i'm actually going to show you the white one i made now for my hallway i didn't film it it's pretty much the same principle just using a completely different color scheme but yeah let me know what you think let me know if i should put little pumpkin faces on here just to I guess really define it as a Halloween piece and not an autumn decor piece because 100% I want this to be the beginning of my Halloween and here is the white and grey version that I made for my hallway just because those are the colours in my hallway so I really hope you like these as well I absolutely adore them I left the twigs natural to kind of match the wood and yeah, I painted the bright orange leaves. I painted them all in the greys and the whites of the Arteza paints. And ah, oh, just absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you think about both of these. Let me know if you think they need lettering or wording. Let me zoom out for you. Oh, there you go. As I said at the beginning of the video, Arteza did send me these wood slices. So I'm going to link these wood slices in the description box below. And also the cutting set and the vinyl sheets. Haven't used them today, but I have got another DIY coming up for those. Is 10% off for you if you would like to order these wood slices. Your discount code is Claire's Crafty Corner 2 I am an Arteza affiliate, which means I will get a little kickback from any orders you place at no extra cost to you so it just helps me grow my channel and just really helps me buy supplies that i need to carry on but yeah if you're interested in these guys i've linked everything in the description box below please let me know what you think though let me know if i should put wording on these i don't know or happy faces like pumpkin faces i don't know i was thinking boo <laughs> Just boo but don't know let me know what you guys think and i will do whatever the majority decide and i hope you've enjoyed these guys i really have i just think they're so cute and adorable and i will see you in the next video bye